I was gone for a while. I was gone for several, almost a week. And um, Max took care, Max and Bridget took care of our cats. And Max also looked after Karamia's uh, le- leopard gecko, Yeti. Max looked after <laughs> Karamia's reptile. That's my favorite part. Max came over um, before we went out of town to get schooled on the reptile. And I feel so, Max, thank you. I feel so bad because you would think like looking after a leopard gecko would be very low key. But the truth is the little bugger has to be fed his mealworms one by one by hand. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. That is a lot, (laughs) a lot to get (laughs) right, especially if you're not used to doing it, I bet. What what was that? Were you a little uh, apprehensive the first, uh, the first feeding? Just a, you know, just a little, you know, but yeah. it's once you, once you get in the rhythm of taking out of the little and putting it in its mouth, it's, it, you know, you're kind of just kind of get, you go, okay, fine. This is just what I'm doing. I'm, all right, fine. I'm helping. Yeah, yeah. You're like a mother, you're like a mother bird. And I, cause Karami had said to me, but what will happen to Yeti while you're gone? I said, you better throw yourself <laughs> on Max's mercy. That's that is it. He is did. Yeti's Obi Wan Kenobi. And she did. So, Bob, the day that Max came over to get tutored in reptile um, care and feeding management, uh-huh. Yeti's Yeti lives in Karamia's room. So poor Max has to come in Karamia's room, which I'm sure was um, sensory overload. There's a million things on the wall. The reek of patchouli. Like, did you just about want to get into the fetal position? Well, yeah. you know, I mean, it's just. <laughs> She's a college girl, <laughs> you know. I mean, that's just that's part of it. And the Max lizard doesn't. And the lizard Max doesn't spend a lot of time in teenage girls' bedrooms, which of course is a very good thing. <laughs> yes. Very good thing. Can I tell you this? A guy, there's a guy that pulls quotes from our show. That's going to be the pull quote. <laughs> Max doesn't spend a lot of time in teenage girls' bedrooms. He doesn't he spends he some doesn't. time, but not a lot of time? <laughs> not yeah, right. A lot of time. And so poor, you know, poor Max, he wants to be a good reptile babysitter. So he's asking um, questions, but all the answers are open-ended. So he goes, well, how many does Yeti eat? (laughs) And we're like, you know, it's hard to say. Some days he eats 12, some days he eats 20. You just keep feeding him until he's done and he'll slow down, but until he really rejects it. So we weren't even able to tell you like specifics on no. what to do with the lizard. No, it's not like Sorry. feeding the dogs where you have a portion. You just go until he says, I think that's enough. And the way that you know, these... Um, that's very smart. Way- he's uh, he's smarter than I thought because there are people who can't you know control themselves that Oh, who easily. can't self-regulate, yeah. Me at a, <laughs> with a pizza. Yeah, you're right. The problem with it is, is he eats these... Um, vacuum sealed mealworms and and cheerful happy enjoy your pop tarts everyone he eats these <laughs> and and you can once you open the packet you have 24 hours and then you have to throw it away and open a new one he is more expensive than a lot of boyfriends i've had i'm serious <laughs> so thank you very much max for You're very looking welcome. after and the cats who eat on the counter well that was the other thing like Um, I used to, when I had the, when I first had the cats, I only had the cats. And then Rachel came and lived with us with her dog, Annie, and Annie would eat their food. So I had to relocate the cat food. And then Sam, Kevin's mom died, and then Sam came to live with us, the dog. And so now, you know, we had to keep the cats and the dog separate or they would never get anything to eat. And now I live like that shut in in the woods with 72 cats and they have their own designated spot on the counter where their bowls so, go. It's a nightmare. So yeah. two of the cats eat from separate bowls, and then two of the cats share a longer bowl. So you have they to do, have the food yeah. portioned out in a way that makes sense for all of them. But fun fact, the longer bowl that the cats share, yeah. when the TV show Homeland wrapped up shooting, because it, it shot in the neighborhood that I live in, when Homeland wrapped up shooting, they had a big auction and sale of all of the props and costumes and everything from the show. Oh, is that right? And, and so the bowl that my cats eat out of um, was used in a hospital scene in the TV show Homeland. <laughs> That's our little claim <laughs> to fame. <laughs>